what's up guys i am back with another video if this is your first time checking out my channel hello hit that subscribe button and the bell button so you're notified anytime i do any type of uploads also make sure you follow me on ig and you check out my blog i have been posting blogs so if you don't ever catch me on here you might catch me on my blogs <laughs> however i am going to be doing a product review today today i'm going to be talking about the Maya organics pomegranate and honey curling custard so as y'all can see, I demoed the product for you, this part. So starting off, this product is 12 ounces for $11 on their website. It's very, very accessible. You can get it at CVS, Walgreens, Target, Sally's, a beauty supply store. The shelf life on this product is 12 months. The directions on this product says, apply to damp hair or dry hair, section hair and apply product generously by finger combing through each section. Allow the hair to air dry or diffuse for volume. The product is also paraben sulfate, mineral oil, synthetic colors, DEA free and no animal testing. I am a huge, huge sucker for packaging. I like anything with a pretty, pretty package. Also, this product smells amazing. This smells out of this world. I love this smell. The product is kind of a, it's like a custard. I mean, the consistency is pretty much the same as any kind of custard that you come across. I have used quite a bit of it. I wouldn't say quite a bit of it. I at least used half the jar, I feel. Maybe a little bit less than a half, but I have used this on more than one occasion. So let's get down to, is this fine hair approved? Just off the bat, is it fine hair approved? No. These are the reasons why. Me, personally, it leaves a lot of residue pickup. And if you have a finer hair, buying products that have a lot of residue pickup is not good because it's heavy on your hair follicles. So personally, just based off of the residue pickup, I would not recommend this. Also, the product is extremely sticky. It's very, very sticky. I wasn't a fan of that, but I mean, most custards I feel are kind of sticky. So that's why I don't always pick up custards. I'm the type when I style my hair, I want to be able to style my hair with one product. I don't like building up products because my hair is so fine and I don't like adding a ton of product to my hair because I know that also isn't that doesn't help with residue pickup as well. So I noticed with this product, I tried different oils and it flaked up really, really bad on me. When I washed it out, it was flaky. My hair was really, really dry and it was almost like it was stuck together. In different reviews, people have been pairing it with the, with the curl smoothie. I actually really, really love this product. This product is bomb, but I noticed people were pairing it with that. I don't have time to pair products. Like I said, it's just too, too heavy on my hair. So for me, this is a strong pass. This is not fine hair approved, unfortunately. I, like I said, I do like other products out of her line. This just, this product just wasn't it for me. Comment down below. I don't know, did it leave you a lot of residue? Let me know and tell me, tell me guys what you guys personally think about this product. If you have tried it, if you haven't tried it and you have finer hair like myself, I would say just go ahead and pass. She has other products in this line that would actually do better. Like that curl smoothie, I was a huge fan of that. And some other products I'll mention in later videos. But on this product, this is a actual no-go for me. So anyways, sound off in the comment section below. Let me guys know what you think about this product. If you were curious about trying it, let me know. Anyways, until next time, y'all. Bye.